another tyrannical anti-gun communist governor shows his true colors, which most of us already knew anyway, all because of COVID. Stick by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets if you want to get enraged. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. If it is Second Amendment news you are after, and you want to find out just how much our fundamental right to self-defense is under attack, you might want to subscribe to this channel because this is where you're going to find that information. And uh, I would welcome you to join this growing freedom family. There's a wealth of knowledge down in the comment section, even though YouTube wants you to be kind. So let's go out to Pennsylvania for this one, although this has taken place in several states. So listen up, because this might have happened to your state or might happen to your state as we move towards a potential Joe Biden and Kamala Harris presidency. So one of the things a lot of us predicted here in the 2A community, the 2A culture, was that if, if Joe Biden and the Democrats win the corner office, retain the House, which was a given, and depending on what happens in Georgia, get out and vote, if they win the Senate, uh, we're predicting a really, really bad time to be a law-abiding gun owner. Uh, that would probably change most people from being law-abiding, in my personal opinion. However, Governor Tom Wolf in Pennsylvania, like other governors, probably yours, never cease to let a good crisis go to waste. Even with this predicted second wave of COVID, I wonder how they predicted all that. Hmm. But with the new uh, increased rates, these uh, communists are taking what they're seeing as a Joe Biden presidency, even though it hasn't been determined yet. Uh, they're taking this opportunity to become more controlling and tighten their grip on freedom. And Governor Wolf has just vetoed two pro-gun bills in Pennsylvania. Now, like I said, this might have happened in your state during the first round of COVID shutdowns. You know, two weeks to flatten a curve, ten months later. And uh, it might happen again, so pay attention. And a lot of these states were stopped by lawsuits from Firearms Policy Coalition, Second Amendment Foundation, Gun Owners of America, and uh, local state uh, groups as well. But let's get into these two bills. So the first one was HB 2440. And I covered that one here on my channel before, like in September, uh, when it was moving through legislature. And speaking of going through the legislature, that passed the House 124 to 78, and it passed the Senate 29 to 20. So it had some solid support. And this bill looked to name um, ranges, sportsmen's clubs, hunting facilities, any businesses related to the sale or distribution or creation and production of firearms and ammunition, it looked to name those as life-sustaining or essential businesses. You know, the same businesses that the federal government have already claimed them to be essential. So if they're essential federally, why wouldn't they be essential for the state? And you know, that thing you know called the Second Amendment in the US Constitution. Now, the second bill was HB 1747, and this one looked to limit and prohibit uh, local and state government from suspending or limiting the sale, possession, dispensing, and transportation of firearms and ammunition during a declared emergency, and it looked to remove some of the carry uh, prohibitions around that, with some exceptions. Now, who... As a gun owner, I'm talking to every gun owner that watches my videos, all 366,000 plus of you. You own a gun. Put yourself in this scenario. It's an emergency. Things are scarce. People are losing their mind. Fear is setting in. They're starting to think about doing crazy things. Crime is, is up. Violent crime has risen in some places by 200%. Uh, well, who would say, you know what? I'm not going to carry my gun today because it's a declared emergency. I, I'm going to be safer going out into that chaos that was created by government. Uh, I'll be safer without a firearm. You know, the criminals will keep theirs, but I'll be safer without mine. This is infuriating uh, for all of us, I'm sure. This happened in Massachusetts, and it took a lawsuit from those groups I've already mentioned to stop the, the insanity. And unfortunately, there's a second round coming because they think that their guy is the king and they're going to be able to you know, just delete guns from the planet because that's what Joe wants to do. Now they're again poking their communist heads out of the dark 
saying, you know what, let's take this opportunity. It's COVID again. More people are getting the flu. Let's choke them out. And correct me if I'm wrong, down below, I'd love to hear from you, but I think we're done. Not another inch, not another centimeter. No more will we let government trample on our God-given, constitutionally guaranteed rights to not only just self-defense in the Second Amendment, but to anything that we have the right to do. We're done. Tyranny ends. We're all done with it. And if they don't start to catch drift soon, Americans will rise up. We're drawing the line in the sand and we're done. Guys and gals, if you live in Pennsylvania, sound off to your governor, the tyrant, Tom Wolf, and let him know exactly how you feel. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up because this is happening again. The second round is coming. Things are starting to get shut down in the name of safety. And I don't understand why you have to shut down a restaurant when across the street a movie is being filmed and they have their catering services 20 feet from the restaurant. I don't understand why you can't go to church, but you can sit in a crowded airplane next to strangers. I don't understand why people don't see through this and start speaking up for themselves and have the courage and the intestinal fortitude to stand for their rights. Ladies and gentlemen, if you hear me, if you hear what I'm saying, please thumbs up the video so that more people will see it because YouTube will not. Trust me, when they see this thing, they're gonna wanna suppress this. So please help the channel by hitting the thumbs up and sharing it with everybody you know, especially folks in Pennsylvania. If your state is going to be shutting down as well, don't be quiet about it, make noise. Ladies and gentlemen, please consider subscribing to Guns and Gadgets. This is where you're gonna find this type of news. The onslaught has just begun by these anti-gunners. If they win the elections in Georgia, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. Guys and gals, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a weapon. And for those people who don't like when I call it a weapon, carry your boomstick. Whatever you want it. Call me, carry your problem solver. But make sure you're safe. Take care, everybody.